Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze big stories in the world of entertainment and have trending lifestyle conversations as it affects you and I. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. One, one. Hi. Right. This is your hi. Is like <laughs> she practiced. She looked yeah. in the mirror hi. today. Hi. How are you doing? Well, how are you? I was a protest yesterday. You're, you know you're a protester on this table. <laughs> it was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I didn't really protest, protest. I was but busy. Were there? Yeah, usually I'm focused on the DJ. But when he says it's okay, we're saying it's okay. okay. Yeah, I did not do that one yesterday. I was just picking, helping pick up trash. It's an NGO. I've forgotten their name now. I think I clean and somebody else. Shout out to them. I think they deserve the name call. They, they really um, owned the cleaning space and making sure that you know, when the, all the protesters leave, the place ha is clean. Especially because now traders have really flocked that place. It wasn't like that before. Um, so now there's a lot of trading and buying and selling of food and sachets and all that. So as you are picking, there's more dirt. As you're picking, mm -hmm. there's more dirt. So you don't really have more than enough hands to pick. If there are traders so, there now, don't you think it should now be necessary for them to also mandate the traders to kind of Help take care of their own trash as well. As well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have to agree to that. Right, so so when it I... was very, it was very um, intense. So I did a lot of, of picking, and mm. then after that, I got tired. And I went home. When I saw that yesterday as well, I saw that um, a lot of the traders are being made to stay at a particular point. So mm. whatever you're going to buy, you're buying it there. If you want to litter it there, you litter it there, and stuff like that. So they're beginning to control the traders as well, and I see that as a very good and welcome development because you mm. see them coming into. To the crowd with their fish with their crayfish and all those things mm. and they're working into the crowd but right now you see the security the private security telling them oh you need to stay on the side of the i don't think all of them are, are paying um, um, attention to that because there's still some people who are hawking their products in between of course, the crowd of course. We'll and still even have the shawarma the... guy i mean what was he selling he was farther away from because you know most of them are on the um the middle of the both highways there's like a middle ground it's not really a pedestrian crossing but that's why all the all those people have lined up to sit down. There's still some people that are quite in front as well. Of course, well, but see, most of the time, you see most of them snaking there. Yeah. And then mm. when you when the security find fish them out, they tell them, hey, go back, mm. go back, go back. So it's not mm. like, of course, we have people that will break the rules, but mm. at least the rule is there. That's the most important thing. It's also thing. interesting to know how much the right. Lagos State government um, has lost so far mm -hmm. from the toll gates being blocked. Um, I don't want to mistake that figure because it's very crucial. So I'll confirm that figure and come and read it out with pride. <laughs> but moving on real quick, among many challenges encountered during the NSAS peaceful protest, comedian Lassisi Elenu and actor Wofai Fada reveals their side mirrors were stolen in um, Lagos protests. Take a look at this video. Hello guys, so I want to share with you what happened to me yesterday when I went out to protest. I'm like, I'm, I'm so angry right now. Listen, I went out to protest yesterday. When I got back to where I parked my car, my both side mirrors were gone, obviously stolen. Like, this is madness. People leave their offices, their work, whatever they have to do. They come out here to protest for a better Nigeria. And some idiots, some bastards, some stupid fools are stealing people's personal effects. Please, let us, let us be very... You are your brother's keeper at this point in time. Let us be very, very watchful of our environment. Let's not allow any idiots make us feel some type of way about coming out to protest because we start to feel like, oh, if I come out, somebody will steal my property and for this, be very, very watchful of your, per your, 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 your property, your phones, anything you come out with. Let's be careful. If you notice anything, any funny activity, any funny movement, make sure you alert anybody around you so that these persons can be brought to justice. Hmm. Okay, I mean, Lassisi Eleni is always angry. Even when he's doing his comedy, he's angry. Now he's legit angry. So, legit. without uh, the filters. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that? I mean, it's we've had a lot of cases like that. The DJ, I don't know his name. I was I call him an MC really. That was trying to um, coordinate the event. He, he did a good job. Um, he even mentioned that we need to be more careful that people are beginning to pick pockets and um, you know do other things. When the when the protest first started. Um, when I went there, there was not that many people there. And it wasn't a trading site. It was strictly business. People who went there went there to protest. Now it has become another thing. Obviously, um, supply supply would chase demand. So if they say that people are gathering and they want water, they'll go and sell water. If they say that they can also trick in alcohol, they'll do that. So it's become more of like a, a carnival site. And I think a lot of the criticisms that have come with the toll gates was also because we didn't have that many resistance. So there's a lot of chilled vibes going on at the toll gates and that helps attract even more 
people. More people, yes. And that involves the hoodlums as well. So it's not a surprise that I'm seeing that people are stealing. I've heard people um, 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 misplace their phones, misplace their, their handbags. If you leave it, you know, unwatched and all that. So there needs to be some type of maybe upping the security because I know there's already security. But they need, to, they need to do something about that because it would be unfair to chase the people who are actually afford the calling by, you know, harming their property or stealing from them. Yeah. Personally, I, I've always said that that's yes. Even amongst the police officers, we have the good ones and we have the bad ones. So amongst the protesters as well, we have the good ones, we have the bad ones. Mm -hmm. We have the ones that are actually there to fight for a good cause. And we have the ones who are actually there to make sure that they are mm -hmm. fed. They put food on their table. They go there for their own personal interest, for mm -hmm. their own selfish interest. And um, yes, we have the robbers there. We have the thieves. We have the the pickpockets, we'll have the people selling marijuana, we'll have the people selling alcohol, we'll mm -hmm. have the people selling several illicit drugs that people would definitely not see on the streets on the normal day. You have to mm -hmm. go to some places. But they're there, they're making sales. And um, this doesn't stop us from standing for justice. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're, they're in ev even in the police, we are not saying all of you are bad. We're mm -hmm. still saying there's some bad eggs. And yeah, so this is going to happen as long as um, there's a crowd. Mm -hmm. This would definitely yeah. happen because yeah. we have to sieve the wheat from the shaft and then the shafts will definitely be there and the wheat will definitely be there. So if people are beginning to steal cars, steal side mirrors, steal all those um, personal items, it's not, it's not beyond the ordinary, but it still boils down to the fact that the security needs to be helped because mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, you see a lot of security guys there that's even there. You already know some of these protesters that come in. As soon as they're going, hey, my guy, yeah, they're shaking sure. their... Yeah. So me that I know that you know me and I'm a bad guy, you know, I'll use that opportunity to bring my other bad guy and I'm a guy with this now and everybody gets in. <laughs> and then before you know it, we're mm. doing our bad stuff. So yeah, if I've been going there, so at the end of the day, I think that we still need to focus on security when you go out to protest, to protest and um, watch, watch over maybe yourself. The conversation around, sorry, to, sorry, maybe the conversation around removing traders might help. If you have mm. anything to sell, maybe just take that away. Because they need to even keep your your stay there a lot more effective. It's not really... We don't need the whole of Lagos to come and shut down um, Todd Milan Bridge. And when, when I said Todd Milan Bridge, the target. And when it first started, they used to have um, a, a, a crew. And there's still those protesters that have a tent there. So we don't need everybody there just chilling. Maybe we can start to... I, mean, I, I might bring it up on, on social media. Maybe we can really just start to make that place a little more serious. Mm. Because like you mentioned, I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary. I I like that you talked about um, this being normal when you have a crowd of people, there will mm. always be bad eggs. But I also want to mention that, um, you know, you said the police we are fighting this because there are some bad eggs. I think their own case became mm. um, there are some good eggs, not mm. <laughs> some bad eggs. The, the, the bad ones became... Um, more than the good ones, and this is why we are where we are right now. And that's and why I we think shouldn't that, get to that the same to, level. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't get to the same level. But also, what exactly is the policemen doing at this time? Because it is also their job to actually provide. Forget about the fact that we are providing security yeah, for ourselves. Security, yeah. They are actually supposed to provide security for the protesters there. I mean, we did not say they were there before. So why did they leave? What what Obviously, what is going they're on? They're scared for their lives as well. Nobody, no, 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 nobody no, 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 was no, no, harassing I'm, I'm them. Trying to, I'm trying to get somewhere with mm -hmm. this. So. It's not. It's not a battle. I'm just trying to say that. Look, they they are scared for their lives. I, I don't know if you guys saw the video of the um, traffic warder, who, who, traffic warden, who was just there, and then some guys were coming towards him, and he was about to run, and they stopped him. I mean, I like, no, no, we appreciate the work you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. and yeah, they I gave saw that video, food. but they can't they be scared of their lives because they nobody gave him... has actually tried to attack them. No one has. Well, not, you have been single, not a single not And police there. brutality, and then you're seeing a lot of angry youth. If I'm a police officer myself, I'll be very wary. You know, you're I what have, is not excusing not, because it's not, they it's are it's supposed not, to be there. Nobody not, is attacking police. It's not a right reality now. for so them. Except know. they've seen one case where this has happened to them. For, t for them to say that that's a reality. But every time I've seen them on the stage, we've literally been friends with I remember um, um what's it called? Lekki Toll Gates. There were security, there were police people that parked their cars to help us block that road. And when <laughs> I because I got there late, when we were driving in, they were like, SARS people, SARS people, and we're like, no, why we SARS it's like, in SARS, oh yeah, be going, be going. The police people were there. We've never, ever, for one day, ever attack said that we're going anything. to attack these people. Yeah. We have an intention to do that. If anything, we actually encourage a lot of dialogue between 
between them and they know this because if, if somebody was hurt they will all have heard about it so it's not like as if no that reality can be legit that they're afraid of that they're just not interested in being there for too long not as much as we are anyway yeah Okay, moving on to the next story. Nigerian journalist Kiki Modi has accused Olada Por Daniel Uyebanjo, popularly known as the Banj, um, of constantly emotionally blackmailing Nigerians with the death of his child. This remark came after, in a bit to lend um, his voice to the SAS brutality, the Banj expressed the feeling of one losing a child. He tweeted, and I quote, I know what it means to be in pain, to lose a child and a loved one. So I know the pain my brothers and sisters are going through, and my heart is is heavy. I pray God grant us the healing and restoration we so deeply need in our country and that our light can once again shine, end of quote. To which Kiki responds, uh, responded saying, quote, every day you use your child to emotionally blackmail Nigerians. You are very scary, end of quote. <laughs> if you want to go first. No, I want you guys to go. Um, mm -hmm. This is something that, personally speaking, I would think, but I would not tweet because I just... I, it's, it's still insensitive. It's, it's still insensitive, but I'm not going to say that what she's thinking, I do not think it. <laughs> <laughs> I just would not tweet it. <laughs> That's the only difference. Um, and if she wants to tweet it, she can go ahead and do that. And she's done I, that. She has. Um, I think if you put into context um, um, the band, if you take away context, you might really see it as out of place and all of that. But once you start putting context, the band's history, what mm. we're still dealing with, with him, and the way he used his child in the first issue that we were being that we were dragging him for mm -hmm. um if you put that into context then it makes a lot of sense still i still think that nothing would have spoiled if she just ignored it because when i saw yeah. it i'm like how does this have anything to do with a child your child um, passing away through a domestic um what's the word accident yeah domestic accident it's mm -hmm. not the same thing but it's a lot of it is a lot of it is a lot of like, like i said mm -hmm. put into context okay? Yeah. okay if i'm having this conversation about anybody else there's no place and time for what she has said. We're talking about context now, so you don't yeah. get, um, 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 put it out. Because if you put it into context, mm. there is a lot of other people that did not have the band's history that have lost their children, and they didn't bring it up. There's mm. quite a lot. Because mm. even this conversation, there was a thread of, of, of um, a lady that I can't remember, the, the um, musicians now that have lost their children, and, they did not, and they've talked about stars, and they did not bring, bring it, up. it up. So if you put that into context, then it is a bit offensive. But like I said, this is just something that me personally, if fair, I would just have let it go and not even like send him. But she, she, for me, she didn't say anything that was, you know, outrightly Out wrong. Yeah. Yes, but okay. just really insensitive. I'd like you to go before I go. No, no, no. I mean, I, I agree with what she's saying, basically. If... If this wasn't the band in question, then maybe it would feel really insensitive. Because I already mm. said it, it's kind of felt insensitive because a loss is a loss. No matter how the journey to the loss happened mm. or how it came so, to be, because of the it band is, is a loss. Really but because sensitive. this is not the first time he's using his child to come into a conversation, this yeah. came up when, maybe I need to refresh people's memory as well, mm. when we were talking about the rape case between him and the person who accused him of being mm. a rapist. And instead of coming out to actually address yeah. the situation, he, he came out to yeah. remind us of the fact that he has lost a child. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. looking at it in that context, then you can begin to see where Kiki is coming from. Mm. But like she said, would I say that? I, I don't think I'll say that because at the end of the day, there is still the space for being yeah. sensitive, yeah. you know? But I mean, she has said that. And you don't she, want to go as she low as the person that you are, you are, you know, you are attacking. Yeah, as well. which is what she's yeah. doing right yeah. now. Yeah. The worst people in the world. Um, I don't care if it's Anini. I don't care if it's. it's What's Anini? I, okay, he used to be a very notorious rapper in Nigeria. Oh, okay. right. Anini, um, Shinorambo mm. and the likes. Mm. I don't care if it's Anini. I don't care if it's Adolf Hitler. I don't care if it's um. Judge W. Bush. I don't care ah, who. Is he George? the worst person in the world? No, I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just giving. Slow down with the examples and just make your point. I that's, don't that's care. <laughs> who? You want to put Adam Vivian and George Bush I in the same? I don't understand. I, I, do you get? No, you guys just want to pick words, right? No, that's but I'm what just you saying. Said. I'm just calling names. Right. I really do not care who it is. I don't care if it's me. Mm. Okay. If I've ever lost a child, mm. and I come back to tell you about my loss, mm. you have no place mm. in this world in heaven or in hell to tell me, <laughs> right, how I should express my loss. Not how, when. Or when to express my loss. Oh, well, there's a hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, there's no time for you to tell me how to express my loss or for me to come and use my loss and then you're telling me, and you're now use telling me. Use your loss for oh, what? 
It's good that you mentioned to use mm -hmm. your loss because you can use losses if to be I manipulative. Talk, sorry, be... That, that was wrong. I, if I talk about my loss, mm. no one has a right to tell me when to talk about my loss or when to use it in a scenario mm. where people have lost children. Do you understand? No, I... Sorry, go on. Go on. Probably you want to continue. Go on, go on. Do you on. want to do that? I can't, I can't if you want me to. Exactly. Yeah, you can. Please go I on. Just, I personally think, yeah, speaking, I just, I just feel like there is a place and a time for everything. Right. No matter how insensitive things are. Okay. Even, even like, let's even leave death, for example, because that's even more sensitive. Something like divorce. There's some places where you just can't bring it up. Mm. You can't bring up your pain in every single place, especially when it's public. When it's public, you are inviting responses. If you have not been able to strategically curate responses. this type of the type of public that you want to put it to, you don't have a right to tell people how they will react for bringing your 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 information to the public. That's what I wanted to mention. All right, thank you very much for continuing my statement. We can so go. So are on. you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, tea time continues right after this very short break.